Let's start with a question. What do Gen Z and Galileo have in common? Well, they're both obsessed with stars, just in very different ways. Because these days, space isn't just studied in observatories, it's also trending on TikTok and YouTube. Scroll through your For You page and you might stumble upon a viral clip of Saturn rising behind the city skyline, or a 20 second breakdown of what would happen if the sun suddenly disappeared, delivered with perfect eyeliner and a dash of existential dread. Welcome to the era where stargazing is no longer a niche hobby, it's a cultural moment. This is the Gen Z astronomy boom, and for those who don't know, Gen Z refers to people born between mid-1990s and early 2010s. What's fueling the rise of interest in astronomy? For one, platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts have collapsed the distance between the advanced science and everyday people. Information that once required textbooks or a telescope is now packaged in punchy scroll-stopping clips, complete with soundtracks, humour and just enough shock value to make you hit share. But this isn't just infotainment, there is real curiosity brewing underneath the memes and moon filters. Our channel operates on the same principle. More and more young people are following NASA, attending live rocket launches via live streams and debating the Fermi paradox in comment sections, like it's pop culture canon. In fact, some space influencers are pulling in millions of views per month just by explaining things like black holes, wormholes or why the moon seems to follow you when you drive. This isn't a fluke, it's a shift. The stars are no longer distant and cold. They're trending, aesthetic and weirdly relatable. And Gen Z? They've made astronomy part of the algorithm. So how did space go from silent and ancient to viral and shareable? And what does that mean for the future of science and storytelling? Well, let's find out. Not long ago, astronomy content online was a niche rabbit hole, buried in forums, tucked away on long-form YouTube channels or confined to dense academic PDFs. But then something unexpected happened. TikTok came along and the algorithm accidentally launched a cultural space mission. At first it was simple, short clips of the moon rising, time lapses of star trails or someone holding their phone up to the telescope and whispering, look at Jupiter. But then creators got creative. Astronomy wasn't just beautiful anymore, it was entertaining, and that changed everything. Take creators like Astro Athens, who breaks down mind-bending cosmic theories in under a minute, with visual flair and the kind of energy that feels more like a concert than a classroom. Or Astro Alexandra, who teaches black hole mechanics between Taylor Swift references and chaos edits. This is science, but with Gen Z sparkle. TikTok's format is perfectly engineered for curiosity. With only seconds to grab attention, space creators led with questions like What if Earth had rings like Saturn? Could we survive if the Sun vanished for 24 hours? What's really hiding behind the Milky Way's center? These bite-sized mysteries tap into something deep, our infinite fascination with the unknown. Add a dramatic soundtrack and subtitle font and suddenly astrophysics feels bingeable. And here is the twist. It's not dumbing things down, it's democratizing knowledge. People who never thought they would care about cosmology are now debating the Drake equation and tagging friends in videos about neutron stars. Some are even switching majors because a TikTok convinced them the universe is more interesting than marketing. For decades, scientists asked, how do we get young people interested in space again? Turns out, all it took was a smartphone, a solid Wi-Fi signal and a really good hook. And TikTok delivered. If you're enjoying this video, hit the like button and subscribe. It's free and it helps our mission. If you're a space enthusiast, you can join our Discord and Reddit and be a part of our community we're building. Links in the description below. Once upon a time, the word astronomer would bring up an image of someone alone in an observatory, looking through a telescope under chilly skies. Now, it might be just someone filming a green screen video in their bedroom, breaking down dark energy with strobe lights, sound effects and a hoodie that says I'd rather be on Mars. Meet the Astrofluences a new breed of science communicators who are rewriting the rules of how space is talked about, taught and turned into entertainment. Take Astro Alexandra. With over 3 million TikTok followers, she blends solid astrophysics with smooth delivery, explaining black holes, neutron stars and cosmological expansion in less than a minute, whilst keeping you emotionally invested. She is proof that relativity can go viral. Then there is Astro Kobe, a rising star in the world of science communication. With a laid-back style and a passion for deep space mysteries, he breaks down complex astronomy topics into short, binge-worthy TikToks. One moment he's explaining how black holes form, 
The next, he is reacting to new data from the James Webb Space Telescope, all while keeping the tone smart, curious and totally accessible. His videos don't just inform, they make space feel like something you can actually be a part of. And it's not just TikTok. Dr. Becky, an astrophysicist at Oxford, has mastered YouTube's long-form format. But her bite-sized uploads and shorts attract a younger demographic hungry for authentic, no-jargon explanations. Her style? Warm, witty and unapologetically nerdy. Even Neil deGrasse Tyson, who predates the social media explosion, has embraced platforms like Instagram and TikTok. But instead of lecture halls, he is now doing stitched reactions and replying to astronomy questions in short form bursts, often trending alongside influencers half his age. He is also a host of Star Talk on YouTube, where him and his co host Chuck Nice take deep dives into astronomy in a very humorous way. What makes these creators so effective isn't just charisma, it's clarity. They don't just drop facts, they tell micro stories. They ask the same questions we're thinking and they explain the answers in ways that don't make you feel like you missed a prerequisite. They are also breaking stereotypes. Not every astrofluencer has a PhD. Some are students, amateur astronomers or simply enthusiasts who learned enough to share the wonder. Accurately and accessibly. And in doing so, they are proving that science communication doesn't have to be top down anymore. This isn't just about entertainment, it's about building a cultural bridge between Deep Space and the For You page. And the bridge is working. You might think TikTok is just for dances, memes and questionable cooking hacks. But look closely and you'll find a surprising trend. Gen Z is learning. A lot. And not just about life hacks or pop culture. They're learning about space. Seriously. Algorithms that once served up lip-syncing teens now recommend videos about supernovae, quasars, time dilation and dark matter. Why? Because the algorithm doesn't care if it's astronomy or ASMR. It cares about engagement. And it turns out black holes are incredibly engaging. Platforms like TikTok and Instagram Reels have essentially gamified curiosity. When a 40 second clip about JWST racks up millions of views, it's because someone cracked the code. How to hook the brain with a question like, could this telescope see the Big Bang? And then deliver just enough science to satisfy, but not overwhelm. This bite-sized model of education is widely effective. Viewers get microdoses of information in formats their brains are already optimized to absorb. No textbooks, no lectures, just fast, clear, emotionally sticky facts. It's science for the ADHD era. And it's working. A 2024 Pew Research survey showed that 38% of Gen Z users had learned more about space from social media than from school. And among those, a growing number reported looking up additional resources, documentaries or even signing up for astronomy classes. The rabbit holes are real, and the spark usually starts with a swipe. More importantly, this isn't replacing education, it's activating it. TikTok doesn't teach orbital mechanics, but it might make someone want to know what the Lagrange point is. Instagram won't decode spectrographs, but it might introduce someone to the idea of planetary spectroscopy and the fact that we can detect the atmospheres of alien worlds. This is where the real potential lies. These platforms aren't just changing how we access astronomy, they are changing how we engage with it. And the more the algorithm notices that curiosity pays off, the more it will serve it. But let's get one thing straight. This isn't just a social media fad. The Gen Z astronomy boom is already influencing real-world space missions and how agencies think about public engagement. Take NASA for example. The agency has fully embraced short-form storytelling. Their multiple accounts rack up millions of followers. It's not just rocket launches and pretty pictures. It's Q&A videos with engineers, mission updates broken down in 15 seconds, and clever explainers about the things like solar sails or cryovolcanoes on Europa. They've realized that if you want to spark public interest, and let's be honest, maintain funding, you've got to meet the next generation where they are. And where they are is on their phones. This influence goes deeper than outreach. When JWST released its first image, NASA didn't just drop a press release, they launched a full-scale social media campaign including TikToks, Instagram stories and real-time Q&As. It wasn't just about showing people a cool photo of the early universe, it was about making them feel like they were a part of it. ESA, the European Space Agency and private companies like SpaceX are doing the same. They understand that public enthusiasm translates to political support. And that starts with attention. The faster you get millions of young people emotionally invested in a mission, the more likely it is to succeed. Not just technically, but culturally. 
and the ripple effect is undeniable. Online hype around upcoming missions is creating communities, like the Europa Clipper mission, the Artemis moon landings, or potential Mars crude flights. Discord servers, subreddit watch parties, livestream comment sections, all driven by people who were once casual scrollers and now diehard space fans. It's also reshaping who gets to be involved. Space is no longer a niche interest, it's mainstream. And when your mission updates are getting remixed into trending audios or stitched by influencers, you know it's reached escape velocity. This new wave of curiosity isn't just watching missions from the sidelines, it's fueling them. So what does this all mean? It means we are witnessing more than just a passing trend. We are seeing a cultural shift, one where astronomy is no longer confined into observatories, academic journals or dusty planetariums. It's alive on our screens, woven into memes, reaction videos and 60 second bursts of cosmic storytelling. And somehow that's working, because curiosity doesn't need a degree, it just needs a spark. What began as scrolling through TikTok before bed is turning into something more profound. People are pointing their phones at the sky to catch ISS flybys, joining live streams of rocket launches and asking questions like how do we know black holes exist? The same platforms that made dance challenges go viral are now igniting interest in spectroscopy and orbital mechanics. Even better, it's not just passive consumption anymore, Gen Z is participating in actual science. Tools like Zooniverse let anyone help classify galaxies, track asteroids or transcribe ancient star charts. You don't need a telescope, just a Wi-Fi connection and a little curiosity. Astronomy is becoming decentralized, no longer the domain of institutions, but a conversation between enthusiasts, influencers and experts alike. And when that happens, the question gets bigger, the audience gets broader and the potential for discovery grows exponentially. We've entered a new era. One where the next groundbreaking insight about the universe might start with a teen post in a video captioned, wait, what? And if you ask me, that's kind of beautiful. So maybe the next Carl Sagan won't wear a tweed jacket and host a PBS special. Maybe they'll be sitting in their bedroom, phone in hand, explaining wormholes in a 30 second skit to millions. Either way, the universe just got a little more crowded and a lot more curious. Thank you for watching, keep looking up.